This is Twit. I really want this thing. This is a a Mac mini looking Windows on ARM device. Uh, it's got the latest processor, 32 gigs of RAM. I think it's 512 gigs of storage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's a it's 600 bucks in the US. Um, it's aimed at developers. Uh, I've been talking to, well, I actually, I will say, I, I said this last week and I've since talked to Raphael and he confirmed for me. He, I didn't ask him to say it. He actually just said this himself, exactly what I said, which was, I don't quite understand this notion of like, you're going to sit down at a computer and use it. Cause this is not a computer. Any developer would ever sit down and use this. It just isn't. So a developer is going to want to remote into this thing so they can deploy their app to it from visual studio on a real computer. That's I, I think how most people who are developers would work. However, it's still a good deal. It's still an interesting thing. I think it's going to find a home in a lot of enthusiasts um, and all that kind of stuff. But here's the thing. This is the asterisk and this is super important. Um, last year I bought a, I want to say it was two or three hundred dollar dev box for Windows and ARM from Qualcomm, which you mm. may remember, mm -hmm. had the same problem as this, which is this. If you buy that thing, if you buy this thing, you can't return it. This is a one way street. Uh, there are no returns. So you need to be 100% positive that this thing is worth $600 to you. You're actually going to use it as a developer or as an enthusiast, I guess, um, because you cannot return it. They will not accept returns. That's weird. Uh, I know. I know. Um, and I only learned about that after the fact from two different people who had gone through the process and they were like, did you know that you, when you go to buy this thing, you agree you can't return it. And I was like, really? Because hmm. I experienced that a year ago. Hmm. And I don't remember the exact price of the Qualcomm one. I want, I want to say it was 300 or less, but I remember at the time I, I, I sort of thought, well, it's okay because I know I'll be able to sell it for half price to someone. It'll be worth I just want to evaluate it and see what it was like. And that thing was a piece of junk because it was uh, like a 700 series Qualcomm processor, which is mid to low level. Um, this one's going to be a little bit better. This will be very similar to that Lenovo laptop I just reviewed, you know, high-end chipset, even more RAM and store and a good amount of storage. So it should be okay. Um, but you need to know what you're getting into, especially. And now that you can't return it, you, you kind of really, really need to know yeah, what you're getting into. That's, I know it's tough. Yeah, that's weird that they won't take it back. It makes oh. me wonder what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, is this like leftover parts from like a <laughs> Pro X or something? Or like, yeah. you know, what? I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know. This is the plan to make that money back. Yeah, right, right, right. Well, we did the, uh, the that part of Microsoft didn't do so well last quarter. So we've got to bump up, we're going to bump up the hardware. Yeah. Don't miss all about Android every week. We talk about the latest news, hardware, apps, and now all the developer -y goodness happening in the Android ecosystem. I'm Jason Howell, also joined by Ron Richards, Florence Ion, and our newest co-host on the panel, Wen Tu Dao, who brings her developer chops. Really great stuff. We also invite people from all over the Android ecosystem to talk about this mobile platform we love so much. Join us every Tuesday, all about Android on twit.tv.